welcome, and here we go. All right, folks, now that you have your box of donuts, we have to do a cup of coffee or a cup of tea, whichever you prefer. We're not going to get into the coffee tea debate. Maybe it's hot chocolate. I don't know. Something hot. So let's get into how to do that. So we're going to, again, create a new design. And just like before, it's going to name it something super funky and we're going to have to change it. So that's what we're going to do the very first thing. All right. So mine says surprising borrow, but that's not what we want. We want it to say, I'm going to call it coffee cup just so that you can find it later. You have the right title. Okay. So how are we going to start this? Well, if we scroll through all of the shapes, you're probably thinking, let's start with the cylinder. But what I'm actually going to start with is the cone. And here's why I would like to make this cup tapered, which means it gets smaller at one end and larger at the other. So how do we do that? The first thing we're going to do is we're going to change the top radius um, to be something a little bit, not that big, um, but we're going to change it so that it's larger than the bottom, something like that, maybe a little bit less, maybe a little bit more, something like that. So I have uh, now it looks more like a coffee mug, right? It's a little bit, t a little bit larger at the top. Uh, maybe I'm going to make this 20 there. We'll make it 20. It's quite a bit larger at the top than it is at the bottom, but it looks more like a cup. Um, I think 20 is too much. Okay. I'll stop playing with it in a minute. 18. All right. We're going with 18. So we have, uh, the outside of a mug, but it's a solid shape. That's not overly helpful. And we also need to be able to put coffee in it. So I'm going to change it to make it look more like a paper cup. So we're going to make it white. And then I'm going to do the fancy schmancy duplicating again. And this time I'm actually going to make it a bit smaller. So you might want to do this in top view so you can actually see and get it smaller in exactly the right way. Uh, let's see. What do we have going on here? Oh, I pulled it right out. Good job, Jones. All right, let's put that sucker back down in there. All right. Now. Just make it a little bit smaller all the way around so that it will fit inside the cup. And you folks can play around with this until you get it absolutely perfect so that it's the same distance all the way around. I am going to wing it. And what we're going to do is we're going to make this hollow. So that means I'm going to lift this up a little bit so it doesn't take out the whole cup. Okay. And I'm going to make it a hole and then I'm going to group them. So now I have, Okay. Now we're going to take this a little bit further. We're going to, uh, put some coffee in there. Okay. So in order to put coffee, I actually didn't want to get rid of the hole. So let me go back. I'm going to press control Z and we're going to make this into a solid again, and I'm going to make it look like coffee. And the way that we're going to do that is we're actually going to, let's actually duplicate that. So let's duplicate it. Okay. And pull it outside. So now I can turn this into a hole and we can group those so that we have an empty cup and we have a cylinder that will fit right directly inside it. But if I put this right inside, it's just going to fill up the whole thing. What we want it to look like is maybe some coffee. So in order to do that, we need to cut the top off of it. So I'm going to take uh, a cube um, as a block that is a hole and I'm going to go across the top and I'm going to cut it off. Okay. So there we go. We let's cut it off. We don't want it to fill. Ooh, we don't want it to fill up the whole cup just enough so we can see that it's coffee. Okay. So let's go ahead and group those 
And now we have a shorter version. So let's turn this into a coffee color because that'll make it look more like coffee. So we'll like, oh, that's kind of red. That would be some not nice coffee. I don't think I want to drink that. Okay, so now we can put this back into the cup. And we have coffee in our mug. Look at that. Imagine that. Now, we could just leave it as a paper cup, but I kind of want to put it so that we make a holder so you could actually print the holder that holds the paper cup. So how are we going to do that? Well, we're going to, first of all, duplicate this one again, this outside one. Okay. And the way it's going to work, let's move this one out of the way while we model the cup holder. So we have this cup with, we need to put a handle on it. Now here's where compound shapes come into play. And sometimes it's hard to see how to make a compound shape because if we go over here, there's not a shape that looks like a handle, right? We could do a lot of things. We could put a ring and cut it in half. We could do some uh, many things. So I think what we're going to do is, um, how complex do we want to make this? Uh, well, ring, the edge of a cup kind of looks like half of a heart. So we need to make half of a heart. All right, the first thing you're gonna do is add a cylinder and then change it so that it has the maximum number of sides so it's smooth and then add a wedge and turn it. Um, and then you want to place that wedge um, over top of the, so, oh wait. so what we've done is duplicate the wedge and made it a hole and we've put in a hole of a, of a cube. And then you want to line them up just like I am on the screen. Okay. And put, you're going to adjust that cube into a rectangle and put it over top. Okay. And then you're going to duplicate the cylinder and make it smaller in the center so that it's a hole. And then you're going to group everything together. Okay, and that should give you the half heart shape. You might have to go back and watch this part a couple of times. Okay, once you have your uh, handle, so this is mine right now, but it's too wide, so yours might be as well, or you've maybe already adjusted it. So I'm gonna make mine a little thinner, okay? And then I'm gonna attach it to the cup. So in order to do that, um, I'm going to have to tilt it and a few things to get it to go where I want it to go. So we're going to use the angles to change things a little bit and we're going to move it into place on this cup. Okay. And then we're going to check to see where it's positioned. That's actually not too bad. And it's okay that it goes inside the cup. So, um, you can see there pretty good. What we're going to do then is put another, um, another cylinder in here so we can get rid of the uh, corners of the handle. So what you can do is because this coffee cup right here, the inside of it, the coffee part is the right size. So um, if you want to, you can ungroup that and then we can, uh, I'm just going to take Let's ungroup this part and I'm going to take this and duplicate it and we're going to use it. And then I know this is, we already did this and we're doing it again, but that's okay. Doing steps over again is kind of part of the learning experience. So, um, we're going to put this back on top. Make sure it covers up the whole thing. And there we go. We're going to cut it off. So we're going to group it again. Oh. Group it. There we go. And then we can change it back to the coffee color. All right, 
and we can put it back in the cup. And if you want to, you can um, pull it up so that it looks like the cup's a little bit more full of coffee. All right, and now this one, we're going to slot right into the coffee cup again. See, now it looks full. But what we're going to do is remake it into a hole. And then we will group them again. And voila, no more handle inside. So now what we're gonna do is make this the holder for this coffee cup. So what we're gonna need to do is make this cup a little bit bigger because currently it's exactly the same size as that. So we're gonna hold down shift on the keyboard and grab the corner, which will make it a little bit bigger, okay? And then let's do a test fit and see if it fits fits inside it quite nicely. All right. So now we need to, um, we need to cut it off maybe on an angle so you can see the cup inside it. So how are we going to do that? We're going to do that by making a hole out of something that's angled. So let's go back and use that same wedge that we used to make the handle. And, uh, I'm going to spin it a little bit. There we go. Uh, oh, but I need it to be the wedge to go the other direction. So Let's change this. There we go. And now we can sort of play with this until we get it to cover the whole thing. Like this. Oh, not like that. There we go. All right, let's make sure it actually goes into the coffee cup. And we're going to make it cover the whole coffee cup like this. There we go. And then we can bring the wedge down a little bit. We want it, don't want to cut the handle off, but we also want it to be on an angle so that you can see the cup underneath it. So That's probably pretty good. So now I'm going to turn this into a hole and then group this. So now we have a cup holder and then you can move your cup of coffee inside it. So maybe let's make the cup holder a different color first. So let's go to solid and you can pick whatever color cup holder you'd like. I'm going to make mine blue and then you can move your cup of coffee inside the cup holder. Voila, cup of coffee in a paper cup inside of a cup holder.